If you're the Syracuse Orange, you're sitting there with two points. And the crowd very frustrated in the dome. Long jumper by Morcel. He'll knock that one in for three. Those banners being up in the JPJ. Here's McCoy with a baseline floater to Corey Alexander's liking. Oh, yeah. That's a wild shot that goes down for Morcel. Side of the box, Marcel long distance. Yes, and a three pointer from way down due to illness. Casey Morcel kicks back for Kihei Clark. Got it. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Morcel quick step to the baseline on the reverse. Folks are on the bench and give him a little bit of rest. And in the back. the game was for the freshman Casey Morse. Just a terrible pass. Even if Levesque had caught it, nothing to do with it, then compounding the area of the error by fouling. For Virginia in this one. And there's a three from Casey Morse. He's got their last six. Score the basketball. They're going to need that perimeter shooting against this pack line defense from Virginia that gives nothing at the rim. Three rattles through for Morrisell. No, it was not a catch. <laughs> <laughs> Definitively said. Summers spins into Walt at Tensai. Huff leads the break. Morrisell sprinting the floor. It's to put everything else in the rear view, the misses from before, and pursue that next make. And they're going to treat him as such. If you've got to look within the rhythm of the offense like that, take it. Never at home, but here against Virginia, and then at Syracuse, and Morcel just flying out of that corner. Yeah, well, they really had, you know, good luck with that. From T.A. Clark. Nolly had it taken away. Morcel against Radford. Gets around him. Key with the drive and the kick. Three-pointer is short for Casey Morcel. But an uncontested finish of the basket. Clark gives it up, and Morcell with a finish on the backdoor cut. A lot stronger, and he can pull the trigger from three, but has really improved his overall game. Morcell tried to force it inside. He was lucky it bounced back to him. Chase Coleman has come in for Virginia. He doesn't play much. He's number 12, backup point guard. He's a walk-on. There's a three out of the corner. Novotin made it just so difficult. Duhay Clark whips it to the corner for the lead. Casey Morsell. That 16% from the three-point line on the season comes pretty obvious. Boy, nice give in the lane, and Key takes a hit. He'll be at the line. Guamo with the foul is third. And that's where Morsell can contribute best. Obviously, he's a good defender. And now batted away. Dikite coming as the trailer knocked that free. Here's Morcell to the rack. He'll lay it in. A tough reverse. And it has been absolutely that. Giveaway to giveaway. Key spins to wins. The bounce pass. Casey Morcell doing his work inside the arc. No one's perfect, especially when you're in an environment like this, especially a defensive environment that loves to pick up those fouls. Casey Morcell. You get switches and you get certain matchups, and that's just another example of the miscommunication on the switch. Switching is a risk if you don't have a really good communicating defense, and that's been. If I were a basketball player, I'd love to have that name as a last name. Yeah, man. Cody Statman. <laughs> I could name, uh, rename myself Buck Score. <laughs> After being away from home for four days. Well, if you get out on the mall in Charlottesville, you got a lot of options. I tell you what. Speaking of options, that's a great option for Virginia. Brooks trying to feed inside, and it's taken away by Morcell. You gotta shoot. Williams call me anything she wants. But she was a call. Take away here, Virginia. And rebound pulled down there by Justin Pierce. You gotta run, and you gotta shoot open shots, but you don't gotta throw it to Baycott to make a play. Braxton Key.
You got to know who you're throwing the head to. Two dribbles and making a crossover against a set defense. That's on the guard. Clark wanders into the paint. Morcell. That's a two. They're going to get all the ten side on the same side as Diakite. Diakite set a great screen there. He's been screening crazy good. It was really 5 through 15 going on a run in Greensboro. Morsell. Well, the ankle was no problem there off the nice feed from Braxton Key. And that, John, is ice cold. I don't even know where to go. It's outcast. Morsell gets the reverse lane. You didn't want to indulge at all. Without letting him do that, they've been without a point for more than four minutes now. There's no space there. I mean, look, he can make that shot, but that's not an easy shot. There's no room to work. Fresh Kimball trying to get around Morsell. Shot clock at one. Morsell blocked it. 